One, let me tell you about this sweet 1969 Ford Thunderbird that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for just $9,500. This beauty is rocking a fuel-injected 429 V8 engine paired with a C6 transmission, and let me tell you, it's in great condition. The seller has put some serious work into this bad boy, rebuilding the transmission and suspension, and replacing a ton of parts to keep it running smooth. We're talking new brakes, master cylinder, timing chain, intake manifold, water pump, electronic ignition, radiator, power steering pump, alternator, spark plug wires, wheels, and tires. But wait, there's more. This T-Bird's got a Magnaflow exhaust for that sweet rumble, soundproofing to keep things quiet inside, new carpet and floor mats, a new stereo, and a fresh trunk liner kit. The sequential turn signals are working like a charm, and the wiring harness in the steering column has been replaced. Now I gotta be honest with you, this Thunderbird's got a bit of a split personality, it's rocking a 67 grille and front bumper with 68 taillights on a 69 body. But hey, that just makes it unique, right? The seller's even throwing in some extra parts, including the original 69 front bumper and a straight rear bumper, plus a couple of 67 front fenders. The interior is looking clean, with only minor tears in the headliner, and the seller's got a replacement ready to go. But I'll level with you. This beauty does need a paint job. The driver's side fender is currently black, so it's not exactly showroom ready. With 98,868 miles on the odometer, a clean title and rear wheel drive, this yellow coupe is just begging for someone to give it some TLC and make it shine. The seller says it runs and drives like a dream, and I believe him. So if you're looking for a classic Thunderbird with tons of potential and a whole lot of work already done, this might just be the ride for you. Give the seller a call and check it out. You might just fall in love. 2. We're checking out a real classic, a 1977 Chevrolet El Camino that's up for grabs at $9,000. This isn't just any El Camino, it's a two-owner vehicle with some interesting history. Let's dive into the details. This beauty is packing the original 350 small block V8, which was rebuilt about 35,000 miles ago. With only 77,000 original miles on the clock, this El Camino has plenty of life left in it. It's got disc brakes and LSD posit traction, making it a solid performer on the road. Now here's where it gets interesting. This El Camino has a salvage title, but don't let that scare you off. The story goes that it was stolen in Berkeley back in 78 and found in Oakland just two days later. The thieves only made off with the wheels and stereo, so no major damage done. The interior is mostly original black leather and in clean condition though there are some tears in the driver's seat. You've got a clean radio and tape player, and the headliner is in good shape too. The exterior paint is clean with some light chipping around the tailgate. Not bad for a 46-year-old vehicle. It comes with some nice extras like the original fog lights, antenna pole, beauty rims and caps, and a spare tire. There's also a white tonneau cover with hardware, new Hella 450 beam lights, and a new car cover. Now, I've got to be straight with you. It's not perfect. There's no heat or AC, and it needs some exhaust work due to a small leak. The seller admits it needs some TLC, which is why they're parting with it. But here's the kicker. It's smog exempt and registered through May 2025. That's a big plus for a classic like this. So if you're looking for a piece of American automotive history with a bit of a story to tell, this El Camino might be right up your alley. It's a solid runner with some quirks that needs a little love. At $9,000 or best offer, it could be a great project for the right enthusiast. Don't forget, the seller's open to trades too. Remember, with classics like these, it's all about the potential. This El Camino's got plenty of that, so why not give the seller a call and see if you can make a deal? 3. We're taking a look at a real piece of American muscle, a 1970 Pontiac Catalina that's up for grabs at $4,500. This isn't just any Catalina, it's a one-year-only body style, making it a bit of a rare bird. Let's dive into the details. Under the hood, we've got a 400 cubic inch V8 engine paired with an automatic transmission. With only 70,000 miles on the clock, this Catalina's got plenty of life left in it. The seller says it runs, drives, and stops well, which is always good to hear for a car of this vintage. Now, I've got to be straight with you. 
This Catalina is not without its issues. The seller's honest about its condition, listing it as fair. The interior's got some wear and tear. The bench seat material is shot, and there's a six inch tear in the headliner. On the plus side, the dash and door panels are still in good shape. On the exterior, there's a bit of work needed. The front passenger quarter panel has a rust problem that'll need addressing, and there's a dent in the driver's door. But hey, that's part of the charm with these old classics, right? This Catalina came from the factory with AC, and while all the parts are there, the seller hasn't tried to get it working. It's riding on new tires, which is always a nice bonus. One of the cool things about this car is that it comes with a lot of history. The seller's got paperwork on its past, all the trim pieces, and even the original hubcaps and rims. That's gold for any classic car enthusiast looking to restore this beauty to its former glory. So what we've got here is a solid runner with some cosmetic issues. It's all original and unmolested, which is getting harder to find these days. At $4,500 firm, it could be a great project for someone looking to dive into the world of classic American muscle cars. Remember, with classics like these, it's all about potential. This Catalina's got plenty of that. It might need some TLC, but with some work, you could have a real head turner on your hands. So why not give the seller a call and see this piece of Pontiac history for yourself? Four, we're checking out a real diamond in the rough, a 1972 Dodge Dart that's up for grabs at $8,000. This isn't your average Dart. It's a project car with some serious potential. Let's dive into what makes this Dart special. Under the hood, we've got a 318 V8 with a mild cam that's been freshened up with new parts and fluids. It's paired with a 904 transmission and a B&M shifter, which should make for some fun driving. The rear end is an 814 with a sure grip, perfect for putting that power down. Now this Dart's got some upgrades that set it apart. We're talking Willwood disc brakes up front and rebuilt drum brakes in the rear. It's sitting on a 5-ax 4.5 big bolt pattern all around, with Mickey Thompson drag radials out back. The seller's also installed an all-new electronic ignition system. The body's been freshly painted with epoxy primer, giving it a clean slate for whatever color scheme you might have in mind. The seller says it runs, drives, and stops great, which is always good to hear for a project car. But let's be real here. This Dart is still a work in progress. The seller's up front about it needing some work to make it street legal. The odometer's broken, so the mileage is a mystery. But hey, that's part of the fun with project cars, right? One cool thing about this deal is that the seller's got more parts to go with the car. That could be a gold mine for someone looking to really make this dart their own. So, what we've got here is a solid foundation for a killer dart build. It's got some great performance upgrades already, but there's still room for you to put your personal stamp on it. At $8,000, it could be a great opportunity for someone who loves wrenching and wants a project with a head start. Remember, with project cars like these, it's all about vision and potential. This Dart's got plenty of both. It might need some more work to hit the streets legally, but with some elbow grease, you could have a real head turner on your hands. So why not give the seller a call and see this piece of Dodge history for yourself? 5. We're taking a look at a real gem, a 1963 Plymouth Fury convertible that's up for grabs at $15,000. And get this, it's coming straight from the San Diego Automotive Museum. Let's dive into the details. This Fury is packing a V8 engine, which is exactly what you'd want in a classic muscle car like this. It's got rear-wheel drive and an automatic transmission, making it a true cruiser. The odometer shows 112,000 miles, which isn't bad for a car that's pushing 60 years old. Now, I've got to be straight with you. This Fury isn't perfect, but it's got a lot going for it. The seller describes it as a restoration project that's almost complete. It hasn't been started in a while, but they believe it should run. That's something you'll definitely want to check out if you're serious about buying. The body is described as clean and neat, which is great news for a car of this age. It's got a custom paint job, which could be really cool depending on your taste. The interior needs a bit of work. The door panels need to be installed, and there are a few other details to finish up. But hey, that's part of the fun with classic cars, right? One of the coolest things about this Fury is that it's a convertible. 
There's nothing quite like cruising with the top down in a classic American muscle car. The seller is upfront about this being a car for enthusiasts. It's not a turnkey drive-away vehicle. You'll need to put in some work to get it road ready, but the hard part of the restoration seems to be done. At $15,000, it's not the cheapest project car out there, but remember, this is a 63 Fury convertible. These aren't exactly common, especially in this condition. Plus, it's got that cool museum provenance, which adds to its appeal. So, if you're looking for a nearly finished classic car project with some real potential, this Fury could be right up your alley. It needs a little TLC to be perfect, but it sounds like a solid foundation for an amazing cruiser. Remember, with classics like these, it's all about the journey. This Fury's got a story to tell, and it's waiting for someone to write its next chapter. Why not give the seller a call and see if you might be the one to finish this museum piece? You could end up with a show-stopping convertible that'll turn heads wherever you go. 6. We're checking out a real classic, a 1971 Chevy Camaro that's up for grabs at $13,000 or best offer. This isn't just any Camaro, it's a survivor with some serious potential. Let's dive into what makes this Camaro special. Under the hood, we've got a strong running 327 cubic inch V8 that's been souped up with a cam, full length headers, and a Flowmaster exhaust. That's all hooked up to a TH350 automatic transmission, which should make for some fun cruising. Now, I've got to be straight with you. This Camaro's not a show car, yet. The seller's honest about it being a perfect candidate for restoration. It's been sitting undercover for 20 years, so you know it's going to need some TLC to bring it back to its former glory. But here's the good news. The bones of this car are solid. The seller reports that the floors and trunk are solid, which is a big deal for a car of this age. It's got its original power steering and disc brakes, bucket seats, and a center console shifter. These are all great features that'll make restoration easier. One of the coolest things about this Camaro is that it's rolling on a set of original Z28 rally wheels with new tires, center caps, and trim rings. That's a nice touch that adds to its authenticity. The odometer shows 80,426 miles, but the seller notes it's rolled over, so the actual mileage is unknown. But hey, with classic cars like this, it's more about condition than mileage. So what we've got here is a running, driving 71 Camaro that's ready for its next chapter. It's not perfect, but it's a solid starting point for someone looking to dive into a classic car project. At $13,000 or best offer, it could be a great opportunity for the right enthusiast. Remember, with classics like these, it's all about potential. This Camaro's got plenty of that. It might need some work to get back to showroom condition, but with some elbow grease, you could have a real head turner on your hands. So why not give the seller a call and see this piece of Chevy history for yourself? It's located in Bremerton and who knows, you might just drive away with your next automotive obsession. Just be prepared to put in some work to make this Camaro shine like it's 1971 all over again. 7. We're diving into a real gem, a 1955 Buick Roadmaster that's up for grabs at $7,500. This isn't just any old Roadmaster, it's a one-owner car that's been in the same family for over 50 years. Let's break it down. This beauty is packing an eight-cylinder engine which is likely the legendary 322 cubic inch nailhead V8 that Buick was famous for. It's got rear wheel drive and an automatic transmission, making it a true cruiser of its era. The odometer shows 149,000 miles, which isn't bad at all for a car pushing 70 years old. Now I've got to be straight with you. This Roadmaster isn't perfect, but it's got a lot going for it. The seller describes it as being in great condition, which is impressive for a car of this age. It's never been wrecked or had any body work done, which is a huge plus. It's all original, folks. That's getting harder and harder to find these days. The car runs and drives, but there's a catch. It needs some carburetor work. That's not unusual for a car that's been sitting in storage for about 20 years. It's something you'll want to address, but it's not a deal breaker for a classic like this. The body is described as being in real decent shape, which is great news. However, the seller does mention it could use a paint job. The current color is blue, but whether that's original or not, we don't know. One of the coolest things about this Roadmaster is its history. It was used as a family car before being put into storage, 
so you know it's got some stories to tell. At $7,500, this isn't the cheapest project car out there. But remember, this is a 55 Roadmaster with a clean title and a known history. These aren't exactly common, especially in this condition. So if you're looking for a classic American luxury car with tons of potential, this Roadmaster could be right up your alley. It needs a little TLC to be perfect, but it sounds like a solid foundation for an amazing cruiser. Remember, with classics like these, it's all about the journey. This Roadmaster's got a half century of history with one family, and it's waiting for someone to write its next chapter. Why not give the seller a call and see if you might be the one to bring this piece of Buick history back to its former glory? You could end up with a show-stopping sedan that'll turn heads wherever you go. 8. We're looking at a real beauty, a 1978 Chevrolet Corvette that's up for grabs at $2,800. And let me tell you, this isn't just any Corvette, it's a 25th anniversary edition. Let's dive into what makes this Veta special. Under the hood, we've got the classic 350 V8 engine paired with an automatic transmission. This car's got all the bells and whistles, tilt wheel, cruise control, power windows, and door locks. And don't forget those iconic T-tops. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. This is a one-owner car with only 54,000 original miles on the clock. The seller claims it's 100% all original, which is pretty rare for a car of this age. It's finished in factory black with a black leather interior that's described as being in like-new condition. That's impressive for a 45-year-old car. The seller's gone to great lengths to keep this Corvette in top shape. It's been garage kept since new and even has new tires and a new battery. They've also updated the stereo to a Pioneer system with Bluetooth, giving you modern tech in a classic package. One of the coolest things about this Corvette is its history. The seller bought it new from Connell Chevrolet in 1978 and still has the original title. That kind of documentation is gold for collectors. Now, I've got to be honest. At this price point and with this description, this Corvette sounds almost too good to be true. The seller describes it as the nicest one you will find. And if it's as good as they say, that might not be an exaggeration. However, as always with classics, it's crucial to see the car in person and maybe get a professional inspection before making a decision. At $10,800, this isn't the cheapest C3 Corvette out there, but if it's as good as described, it could be a great deal for a well-preserved, low-mileage example of a 25th anniversary edition. So, if you're in the market for a classic Corvette that's been babied its whole life, this 78 might be the one for you. It sounds like it's ready to hit the road or the show circuit, whichever you prefer. Why not give the seller a call and see this piece of Chevy history for yourself? You might just drive away with a time capsule from the disco era. 9. Let's talk about this 1978 Ford Thunderbird that's up for grabs at a mere $1,400. Now, I've got to be straight with you. This isn't a pristine show car, but it's got potential for the right enthusiast. Let's break it down. This T-Bird is rocking a 351 modified V8 engine, which is a solid power plant when it's running right. However, the seller's being upfront about a major issue. There's a heavy knock in the engine, and it's likely going to need a rebuild. That's a big job, folks, so keep that in mind if you're considering this car. On the plus side, the body is described as being in good shape, which is a nice start for a car that's over four decades old. It's finished in brown, which was a popular color back in the day. The odometer shows 92,000 miles, which isn't too bad for its age, but remember, with that engine knock, the mileage might not mean much. This Thunderbird is rear-wheel drive with an automatic transmission, typical for its era. It's got a clean title, which is always good news. Now let's be real here. At $1,400, you're not getting a turnkey classic. This is a project car through and through. That engine is going to need some serious attention, and who knows what other issues might be lurking after 45 years. But here's the thing. If you're handy with a wrench and looking for a challenge, this could be a fun project. The seventh generation Thunderbirds have a unique style that's starting to gain appreciation among collectors. With some work, you could have a cool cruiser on your hands. Remember though, this isn't a quick flip or an easy restoration. You're looking at significant time and money investment to get this bird flying right. 
but if you've got the skills and the patience, it could be a rewarding project. So, if you're in the market for a classic Ford project car and don't mind getting your hands dirty, really dirty, this 78 Thunderbird might be worth a look. Just go into it with your eyes open. That engine rebuild is going to be your first big hurdle. But hey, at $1,400, you're not risking a fortune to take on a piece of Ford history. Who knows? With some TLC, you might just bring this old bird back to life. 10. Let's dive into this 1984 Cadillac Eldorado that's currently up for grabs at $9,000. Now I've got to be straight with you. The seller's description is pretty sparse, so we'll have to read between the lines a bit here. First off, this Eldorado is packing an eight-cylinder engine, which is likely the 4.1-liter V8 that was common for this model year. It's rear-wheel drive with an automatic transmission, typical for a luxury car of this era. The odometer shows 90,000 miles, which isn't too bad for a car pushing 40 years old. Now, here's where we need to be honest. The seller describes the condition as fair. That's not exactly a ringing endorsement, folks. It suggests that this caddy has seen better days and probably needs some work. The white paint might be showing its age, and there could be some wear and tear on the interior. The seller simply says, see pictures in their description, which doesn't give us much to go on. It's always a bit concerning when a seller doesn't provide more details, especially for a car at this price point. Speaking of price, $9,000 for a 84 Eldorado in fair condition seems pretty steep. These cars aren't typically high value collector's items, so you'd expect a lower price for one that's not in great shape. On the plus side, it does have a clean title, which is always good news. And let's not forget, the 84 Eldorado is a classic example of 1980s American luxury. When they're in good condition, these cars can be pretty impressive with their plush interiors and smooth rides. But here's the bottom line. If you're seriously considering this Eldorado, you'll want to see it in person and probably get a mechanic to check it out. There could be hidden issues that the seller hasn't mentioned, and at this price, you want to know exactly what you're getting into. So, if you're a diehard Cadillac fan, or just love 80s cars, and have $9,000 burning a hole in your pocket, this Eldorado might be worth a look. Just go into it with your eyes wide open. You might be getting a diamond in the rough, or you might be looking at a money pit. Either way, make sure you do your due diligence before making any decisions. And hey, if you end up buying it, We'd love to see some pictures and hear about your plans for this classic caddy. 11. We're checking out a real gem, a 1974 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme that's up for grabs at $8,600. And let me tell you, this one's got some serious potential. Let's dive into what makes this Cutlass special. First off, it's a one-owner car with only 71,600 original miles. That's incredibly low mileage for a car pushing 50 years old. Under the hood, we've got the classic 350 cubic inch V8 engine, paired with an automatic transmission and rear wheel drive, a perfect combo for cruising in style. Now here's where it gets really interesting. This Cutlass has spent most of its life in Arizona before moving to California in the early 2000s. That's great news for the body, as dry climates are much kinder to classic cars. The seller claims there's no rust and the paint and body are in excellent condition. That's music to any classic car enthusiast's ears. The interior's got some nice features too, including power seats and air conditioning. It's a supreme model, so you know it's got that extra touch of luxury that Oldsmobile was known for. But let's be real here. This car isn't perfect. It's been in storage for the last 20 years, which means it'll need some attention. The seller mentions a slow leak in the radiator or transmission, which is something you'll want to address. But hey, that's par for the course with classics like these. The color is listed as yellow, which could be a really eye-catching shade on this body style. And with a clean title, you won't have any paperwork headaches to deal with. At $8,600, this Cutlass is priced in the ballpark for a well-preserved example. It's not cheap, but if it's as good as described, it could be a solid investment for the right enthusiast. So. If you're in the market for a classic American coupe with low miles and a solid history, 
This 74 Cutlass Supreme might be just the ticket. It sounds like it's ready to hit the road with just a bit of TLC. Why not give the seller a call, don't forget to provide your phone number, and see this piece of Oldsmobile history for yourself. You might just drive away with a time capsule from the disco era that'll turn heads wherever you go. 12. We're diving into a real treat, a 1984 Chevrolet Monte Carlo that's up for grabs at $14,000 OBO. And let me tell you, this isn't your average 80s cruiser. First off, let's talk about what's under the hood. We're looking at a 5.0L V8 engine, which is the 305 CID power plant that Chevy was known for. With only 73,951 original miles on the clock, this Monte Carlo has barely broken in its stride. Now, here's where it gets exciting. The seller has gone above and beyond to make sure this car is in tip-top shape. They've replaced just about everything you can think of. We're talking new spark plugs, wires, filters, hoses, belts, and even a new water pump and AC compressor belt. The engine's been steam cleaned, and they've even thrown in a new battery for good measure. But it's not just about the mechanics. This Monte Carlo is described as being in excellent condition, with its original interior still intact. The white paint gives it that classic 80s look, and with a clean title, you know you're getting a straight shooter. One cool modern touch. They've added Bluetooth capability, so you can cruise to your favorite tunes without sacrificing that vintage vibe. Now, I've got to be honest, $14,000 is on the higher end for a 84 Monte Carlo, but with all the work that's been done and the low mileage, it might just be worth it for the right buyer. Plus, they're open to offers, so there might be some wiggle room there. So, if you're in the market for a meticulously maintained piece of 80s Americana, this Monte Carlo could be your ticket to ride. It sounds like it's ready to hit the road or the show circuit, whichever you prefer. Why not give the seller a call and see this Chevy Classic for yourself? You might just drive away with a time capsule from the era of big hair and even bigger car designs. 13. We've got a real treat for you. A 1978 Chevrolet Camaro that's up for grabs on Craigslist. This classic muscle car is priced at just $6,800, and from what the seller tells us, it seems to be in excellent condition. Under the hood, you'll find a powerful eight-cylinder engine that's ready to roar to life. With a rear-wheel drive and an automatic transmission, this Camaro is built for cruising down the highway in style. The odometer shows just 44,000 miles, which is pretty low for a car of this age. The exterior of this Camaro is painted in a beautiful brown color that's sure to turn heads wherever you go. The seller mentions that the car is super clean and straight, which is always a good sign. It's also got a set of new tires and brakes, so you can feel confident hitting the road right away. Now I know what you might be thinking. Is this too good to be true? Well, based on the seller's description, it seems like this Camaro is the real deal. They mention that it's a complete turnkey car, which means it's ready to go without any additional work needed. Of course, as with any used car purchase, it's always a good idea to do your own due diligence. Take the car for a test drive, have a mechanic inspect it, and make sure all the paperwork is in order before handing over any cash. Speaking of cash, the seller is asking for $6,800 and will only deal in person. They're not interested in any help selling the car or dealing with emails. So if you're serious about buying this Camaro, you'll need to show up with the cash in hand. Overall, if you're in the market for a classic muscle car that's ready to hit the road, this 1978 Chevrolet Camaro might just be the one for you. With its powerful engine, clean exterior, and low mileage, it's sure to provide plenty of fun and excitement for years to come. 14. We're diving into the world of classic American muscle with a 1966 Dodge Coronet that's up for sale on Craigslist. This beauty is priced at $7,000, but before you start reaching for your wallet, let's take a closer look at what we've got here. First off, let's talk about the heart of this beast. Under the hood, you'll find a 3818 cubic inch engine that's ready to rumble. Paired with an automatic transmission, this Coronet is built for cruising down the highway with ease. The seller also mentions that it's got front disc brakes, which is a nice upgrade from the original drum brakes. Now, let's talk about the condition of this classic ride. The seller doesn't provide a ton of details, but they do mention that the interior is clean, which is always a plus. 
However, there's one big red flag that we need to address. The seller says that the car will need a trailer to be transported. This suggests that the Coronet may not be in driving condition, which is a pretty significant issue. Without more information from the seller, it's hard to say exactly what's wrong with the car. It could be anything from a minor mechanical issue to a major problem that requires a complete overhaul. As a potential buyer, you'll definitely want to get more details from the seller and possibly even have a mechanic take a look at the car before making an offer. Despite the potential issues, there's no denying that this 1966 Dodge Coronet is a beautiful piece of American automotive history. With its classic lines and powerful engine, it's the kind of car that turns heads wherever it goes. The odometer shows 83,700 miles, which is relatively low for a car of this age. But again, without more information from the seller, it's hard to say how well the car has been maintained over the years. One thing to keep in mind is that the seller is asking for open offers, which means they're willing to negotiate on the price. If you're serious about buying this Coronet, it's worth reaching out to the seller and seeing if you can come to an agreement that works for both parties. At the end of the day, buying a classic car like this 1966 Dodge Coronet is not for the faint of heart. It requires a certain level of knowledge, skill, and patience to take on a project like this. But if you're up for the challenge and have a love for classic American muscle, this Coronet might just be the car of your dreams. 15. We've got a real gem for you, a 1962 Ford Thunderbird that's up for sale on Craigslist. This classic beauty is priced at just $6,000, and from what the seller tells us, it seems to be in excellent condition. Under the hood, you'll find a rebuilt eight-cylinder engine that's ready to roar to life. With a rear-wheel drive and an automatic transmission, this Thunderbird is built for cruising down the highway in style. The seller mentions that the car has a new custom exhaust and headers, which means you can expect a throaty rumble from this classic ride. The exterior of this Thunderbird is painted in a sleek white color that's sure to turn heads wherever you go. The seller doesn't mention any major dents or dings, which is always a good sign for a car of this age. Inside, you'll find a brand new interior that's been completely redone. From the seats to the dashboard, everything looks fresh and clean. The seller also mentions that the car has new front springs, shocks, and brakes, which means you can expect a smooth and comfortable ride. Now here's where things get really interesting. The seller is willing to trade this Thunderbird for a pickup truck or a Jeep, plus cash. So if you've got a vehicle that you're looking to trade in, this might be the perfect opportunity to get your hands on a classic car. Of course, as with any used car purchase, it's always a good idea to do your own due diligence. Take the car for a test drive, have a mechanic inspect it, and make sure all the paperwork is in order before handing over any cash or making a trade. One thing to keep in mind is that the odometer shows just 10,000 miles, which seems incredibly low for a car of this age. It's possible that the odometer has been rolled over or replaced at some point, so you'll want to get more information from the seller about the car's history. Overall, if you're in the market for a classic American car that's been well-maintained and updated with modern features, this 1962 Ford Thunderbird might just be the one for you. With its powerful engine, sleek exterior, and comfortable interior, it's sure to provide plenty of fun and excitement for years to come. 16. We've got a real treat for you. A 1961 Nash Metropolitan that's up for sale on Craigslist. This classic convertible is priced at $13,000, and from what the seller tells us, it seems to be in good condition and ready for the road. Under the hood, you'll find a four-cylinder engine that's paired with a manual transmission, also known as three on the tree. The seller mentions that the car recently underwent over $2,400 in repairs at Sports Car Craftsman in Arvada, Colorado, which is a good sign that it's been well maintained. The exterior of this Metropolitan is painted in a classic red color that's sure to turn heads wherever you go. The seller does mention that there are a few chips and scratches in the paint, but nothing that a good buffing couldn't take care of. The convertible top has a small patch and one small tear, but overall, it seems to be in good shape. Inside, the seller doesn't provide too many details about the interior, but based on the photos, it looks to be in good condition as well. 
The odometer shows 70,137 miles, which is relatively low for a car of this age. Now here's what really sets this Metropolitan apart. The seller mentions that Irwin at Sports Car Craftsman said it was one of the faster metros he's driven. That's a pretty bold claim, but if it's true, then this little convertible could be a real blast to drive. Of course, as with any used car purchase, it's always a good idea to do your own due diligence. Take the car for a test drive, have a mechanic inspect it, and make sure all the paperwork is in order before handing over any cash. One thing to keep in mind is that the seller is firm on their price of $13,000 and doesn't want to deal with any low ballers or scammers. So, if you're serious about buying this Metropolitan, be prepared to pay the asking price. Overall, if you're in the market for a classic American convertible that's been well-maintained and has a bit of a sporty edge, this 1961 Nash Metropolitan might just be the car for you. With its cute and compact design, peppy engine and fun convertible top, it's sure to provide plenty of smiles per mile. 17. We've got a classic 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe up for grabs on Craigslist. This beauty is priced at $9,500, but before you start reaching for your wallet, let's take a closer look at what we've got here. First off, let's talk about the engine. This Mustang is a C-code car, which means it's equipped with a 289 cubic inch V8 engine. The seller mentions that the motor turns by hand, which is a good sign, but they haven't tried to start it yet. This means that there's some uncertainty about the engine's condition and whether it will need any work to get it running properly. The exterior of this Mustang is painted in a classic blue color that looks great in the photos. The seller doesn't mention anything about the condition of the paint or body, so it's hard to say whether there are any dents, dings, or rust spots that need to be addressed. Inside, the seller doesn't provide any information about the interior, so we can't say for sure what kind of shape it's in. Based on the age of the car, it's likely that the interior could use some work, but without more details or photos, it's hard to say for sure. Now, here's where things get a bit tricky. The seller mentions that the price of $9,500 is as is, which means that they're not willing to do any work on the car before selling it. However, they also say that if they end up getting time to get it running, they'll want more money for it. This puts potential buyers in a bit of a tough spot, as they'll need to decide whether they're willing to take on the risk and uncertainty of buying a car that may need significant work to get it on the road. Of course, as with any used car purchase, it's always a good idea to do your own due diligence. If possible, try to arrange a time to see the car in person and have a mechanic take a look at it before making an offer. The seller asks potential buyers to PM them with their phone number so they can give you a call which is a good opportunity to ask more questions and get a better sense of the car's condition. Overall, if you're a Mustang enthusiast who's up for a bit of a project, this 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe could be a great find. With its classic looks and powerful V8 engine, it's the kind of car that will turn heads wherever it goes. Just be prepared to put in some work to get it running and looking its best. 18. We've got a 1966 Pontiac Catalina up for sale on Craigslist, and it's a real opportunity for someone looking for a restoration project. The seller is asking $10,000 or best offer for this vintage sedan. But before you start dreaming about cruising down the highway in this classic, let's take a closer look at what we've got here. First off, the seller is up front about the condition of this Catalina. They mention that it's in running condition, which is a good start but they also make it clear that this car is ready for a restoration project. This means that while the car may be drivable, it's likely going to need a significant amount of work to get it back to its former glory. The odometer shows 84,000 miles, which is relatively low for a car of this age. However, it's important to keep in mind that the condition of the car is more important than the number on the odometer. Without seeing the car in person or getting a more detailed description from the seller, it's hard to say exactly what kind of shape it's in. One thing that's definitely worth noting is the classic Pontiac styling of this Catalina. The seller mentions that the car has the potential to be restored to its former glory, and they're absolutely right. With its long, sleek lines and distinctive grille, this Catalina is a real head-turner. Of course, restoring a classic car is not a project for the faint of heart. 
It takes a significant amount of time, money, and expertise to do it right. If you're considering taking on this Catalina as a restoration project, it's important to do your research and make sure you have the resources and skills necessary to see it through. The seller is asking $10,000 or best offer for this Catalina, which seems like a fair price for a car with this much potential. However, it's important to keep in mind that the cost of the car is just the beginning. You'll also need to factor in the cost of parts, labor, and any professional services you may need to get the car back in top shape. If you're serious about taking on this restoration project, the next step is to contact the seller and arrange a time to see the car in person. This will give you a chance to get a better sense of the car's condition and ask any questions you may have. Overall, if you're a classic car enthusiast with the skills and resources to take on a restoration project, this 1966 Pontiac Catalina could be a real gem. With its classic styling and solid foundation, it has the potential to be a real showstopper once it's been brought back to its former glory. Just be prepared to put in the work to get it there. 19. We've got an incredible find on Craigslist, a beautifully restored 1937 Plymouth Business Coupe that's sure to turn heads wherever it goes. This vintage gem is priced at $13,500, and based on the seller's description, it seems to be in excellent condition. First off, let's talk about the restoration work that's gone into this Plymouth. The seller mentions that a lot of money has been invested in bringing this car back to its former glory, and it shows. The exterior boasts a stunning new two-tone professional paint job that's sure to catch the eye of anyone who sees it. The car also has new chrome wheels and white wall tires that perfectly complement its classic look. Under the hood, you'll find the original flathead six-cylinder engine that's paired with a three-speed manual transmission on the floor. The seller notes that the car runs and drives great, which is a testament to the quality of the restoration work. They also mention that everything works as it should, which is always a good sign when buying a classic car. One unique feature of this Plymouth is that it's a business coupe, which means it doesn't have a back seat. This gives the car a sleek and streamlined look that's sure to appeal to collectors and enthusiasts alike. The seller also mentions that this car gets a lot of attention and thumbs up wherever it goes, and it's easy to see why. With its stunning good looks and classic styling, this Plymouth is the kind of car that people can't help but stop and stare at. Of course, as with any classic car purchase, it's important to do your due diligence before making an offer. While the seller describes the car as being in excellent condition, it's always a good idea to have a mechanic take a look at it and make sure there aren't any hidden issues. One thing to keep in mind is that the odometer shows 84,611 miles, which is relatively low for a car of this age. However, it's important to remember that the car has been restored, so the mileage may not be entirely accurate. If you're interested in making this Plymouth yours, the seller asks that you call them directly. No texts, please. They're located in Kennewick, Washington, so if you're in the area or willing to travel, this could be a great opportunity to own a piece of automotive history. Overall, if you're a classic car enthusiast looking for a beautifully restored vintage coupe with plenty of character and style, this 1937 Plymouth Business Coupe is definitely worth checking out. With its stunning good looks, original mechanicals, and excellent condition, it's the kind of car that dreams are made of. 20. We've got a unique find on Craigslist a 1961 Chevrolet Corvair that's up for grabs for just $6,000 or best offer. This classic compact car is a real piece of automotive history, and based on the seller's description, it seems to be in good shape overall. First off, let's talk about the condition of this Corvair. The seller describes it as being in good shape, which is always a positive sign when dealing with a classic car. However, they also mention that it could use some attention so it's important to keep in mind that this car may need some work to get it in top condition. Under the hood, you'll find a four-cylinder engine that's paired with an automatic transmission. The Corvair was known for its unique rear-engine design, which gave it a distinct look and feel compared to other cars of its era. With rear-wheel drive, this car should be a fun and engaging drive. 
The exterior of this Corvair is painted in a classic brown color that looks great in the photos. The seller doesn't mention anything about the condition of the paint or body, so it's hard to say whether there are any dents, dings, or rust spots that need to be addressed. Inside, the seller doesn't provide any information about the interior, so we can't say for sure what kind of shape it's in. Based on the age of the car, it's likely that the interior could use some work, but without more details or photos, it's hard to say for sure. One thing to keep in mind is that the seller mentions the title for this car is missing. This can be a red flag when buying a classic car, as it can make it difficult to register and insure the vehicle. If you're serious about buying this Corvair, it's important to do your research and make sure you understand the process for getting a new title in your state. The odometer shows just 21,728 miles, which is incredibly low for a car of this age. However, it's important to keep in mind that the odometer may have rolled over or been replaced at some point, so the actual mileage may be higher. Overall, if you're a fan of classic compact cars and don't mind taking on a project, this 1961 Chevrolet Corvair could be a great find. With its unique rear engine design and classic styling, it's the kind of car that's sure to turn heads wherever it goes. Just be prepared to put in some work to get it in top shape and make sure you understand the process for getting a new title.